we got to work with what Publishers Clearinghouse is doing right now. So right now they're actually running 5,000 weekly and the sweepstakes check. So that's what we got to tell them. This has been my longest bait so far. Almost three months, hours on top of hours of footage, all leading up to this moment right here. I knew the only way to gain Andy's trust was to play him at his own game. If we make him think that he's competing with another scammer, maybe he would open up a little bit, join ranks with Ghost, and at least walk away with half of Alice's money. The only issue that stands in Andy's way? Alice is not a real person, and Ghost is not a real scammer. We went undercover to find the secrets behind this underground PCH lottery scam that has taken so much from so many people. Yeah, Andy, Alice? Andy, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm hearing you now. All right, I think Ghost is out of jail. Are you hearing him again? Yes, well, I didn't hear him yet, but he... Something, something was happening on my phone just now. My phone started moving, and then someone started typing on the phone like it was a, a text message. All right, you have your poli you have the number of the police that was there? Yes, I'll, All right. I, I need to call Joe. Yeah, so whenever you hear a uh, ghost talking, you know what to do. However, he's probably on the phone now, listening everything that's going on. Also, you didn't turn on your computer, right? No, I have not turned on my computer. I shouldn't have even turned on the phone. So, uh, you said you saw your phone typing just now? Yes, he was typing a message. He said, uh... Alice, it's me. I need your help. That's what he's saying? Yes. Can he have a phone in jail? No, he can't. So now I'm wondering what really happened. So how did the police say he was in jail? All right. So uh, Alice. what happened? Alice. Uh, Alice, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hey, this is Officer Joe Swanson. Is everything okay? No, that... that that man is back. He's he's in my phone. Do you need us to come over? Yeah, please, please come over here, please. All right, I'm I'm getting them on the way now. Thank you, Mr. Swanson. Mr. Swanson? Yes. Yeah, uh where where is the department located? In Panama City. In Panama City? Yes. Oh. All right. So uh, I think she says uh, the person was texting on her phone something. So I was really wondering if you guys got him or what? We were told by the detectives that they got him, um, well, what, maybe two days after we had, we had heard from him from Alice's phone. I don't know what's going on. Um, I need to get in touch with, with Interpol now. And um, I will let you guys know here shortly. Okay, so is there a possible way for him to, to be on the call with us now? Yes, that's my question. Is there a way for him to get into this phone call? I don't think so, but I guess we're going to have to see. Um, Alice, you have my number, right? Yes, yes, I have your number. Why didn't you call us? I, I, I don't. I don't know. Okay. All right. We're going to get right. this figured right. out. Um, uh, Mr. Uh, Andy. Andy. It's Andy. Andy. Um, yeah. Alice, we're going to get this figured out and we will let you know something shortly, Alice. All right. Thank you. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye. Andy. Yeah, sweetie. What do I do? All right. So, uh, are you that the person that came over to your house, Mr. Swanson? Was he he in police uniform? No. He said he, he was a, a detective. Yeah. So when he came over, he said it was a detective. Yes. Did, did you see? Did you see him with a gun? No, I didn't. Not that I remember. He had and he was, had a few people with him. Oh, it was multiple people. Yes, they said they were detectives. All right. So, uh, yesterday, uh, did you were you able to make the deposit? Yes. Yes, we did the transfer. You did the transfer. Yes. All right. So now that's what I'm wondering. 
because uh, now I'm wondering if it's a case where Don is still out because the deposit still hasn't been received. Don't worry, sweetie. Uh, as I mentioned, we are going to arrange the meeting for you. But uh, however, the deposit didn't go through. Uh, you did fill out a deposit slip, right? Yes, I filled out the deposit slip. Okay, and uh, is your phone charged? Yes, it is. Here's what we're going to do. Hey, today. Alice. Alice, Ghost is in jail. I don't, I don't know how this would have happened. It's, I don't. It, it, is it possible for him to have a phone in jail? No, ma'am, it's not. He's not supposed to have a phone. I don't know how the jail is in Africa, but he is not supposed to have a phone. And how, if it's not Ghost, he has a team. He has more people to do this. We're trying to figure that out now, but um, I don't. You're gonna have to give us some time. Well, how much time do you need? How much time do you need to get this figured out? If you had that man locked away, he would not be in my phone right now. Okay, so uh, are you hearing me? Uh, what did you say your name was again? Officer Ready? Joe Swanson. Officer Joe Swanson, and are you an officer or you're a detective? I'm a detective. You're a detective. Yes. All right, and you're not lying. You did find Mr. Mr. Don. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we we found him. He's he's in jail. I know for a fact he's in jail, or he was. So because uh, he's been he's been uh, he also sent a text message to Alice's phone today. Uh, it was stating something like, "Alice, please help me." Yeah, Alice. Hey, Andy. Yeah. All right, Mr. Swanson is coming over. Okay, so he said he's coming over. Yes. You don't, do you think he's with Ghost? You know, that's what's running across my mind. But. That's the only thing uh, that makes sense. Yeah, because uh, you see, uh, Mr. Swanson is now cutting into the calls just like Ghost used to. Right. Right, and I don't think that's supposed to be the right way. Okay, so you don't have Mr. Swanson's direct number. No, I have Mr. Swanson's number. All right, go ahead and provide Do me. Do you need to talk to me? Number. Yeah, because I'm not sure what's really going on here. Hold buddy. on, hold on. Dallas. Alice, can you hear me? Alice? Bro, what are you doing? All right, and see, there you go now. You Each time you come on the phone, I know you're working with uh, that person. So why are you guys doing this? What, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're messing this all up. Who am I speaking with? Is this Don? No, this is Lopez. Don. All right. Don, so he, wants to, Don? he wants to talk to you. All right, so why is it all the time that Mr. Don comes on, his voice is ghosted and your voice is natural? Why is that? That's, that's just his voice. All right, so listen, guys, if you want us to work together here, you got to work with me, okay? You're the one I don't trust because you told me that you were going to send me that Zelt and you've made me look like I such a fool. I did send that Zelt. I did send it. If you did not get it, you need to check your friend. Listen, there's no Zelt here and I trust my friend because we've been doing this together since I was small. You're the one that I don't trust and I know my friend wouldn't be lying on a thousand dollars. That's nothing. Do you split because, the money? listen, we didn't receive any money. How do you know he was gone? He may have received Who was it gone? while he was gone. Your friend was gone when I sent that money. You told me. He was not yes, in the office he right was now. on the road. All right, so he so was on the he road. Got it and he didn't tell you. Okay, so you if he got it, listen. Friends, you said some things that hurt my feelings.
things the other day. What did I say? You said that us Nigerians can't talk right, we can't spell. That, that hurt All my right, feelings, so, that hit me deep. Well, I understand, but Say if you're sorry. you could talk, but listen. Say what? you're sorry. What are you, what are you, no, yeah, are you stupid, my friend? Listen, we don't say sorry, okay? I'm on whatever you're on, all right? Is so right? if you guys want to work together, I'm saying, are you hearing me, Mr. Uh, whatever your name Yes, is? I'm hearing you. No, I'm not talking you. Where's the next person? Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah. Yes, how can I help you? And your acting is so... I don't even know why Alex I'm acting sh I've been nothing but nice to you. What do you mean? No, no, I'm not saying you're not nice. I'm saying you're you're acting your tone. It's so shitty. I'm not sure why Alice even believed you. But <laughs> however, if we if we're going to work together here, we could work together. All right? So I don't need you guys. I don't okay. need you guys. I work under Ghost. That's that's right, as far so as I can go. Whatever whatever happens between y'all, I have nothing to do with. I'm just here to answer calls and make phone calls. All right. So, uh, has any one of you went over to Alice's house? Yes, me. All right. And what exactly did you do when you went there? We went through her computer, uh, made up some lies, and told her she was safe. Okay. All right. And Don, you made him do that, right? All right, so you guys, you guys are on the same team here, basically. Uh, yes. How much money have you guys made from Alice? Uh, I will not disclose that information. Hey, listen, listen, Mr. Don. I don't want to speak with you because you have an issue where you don't trust me and you're making me not trusting you because okay, I'm so still I upset like this. about... Joe, you're not allowed to disclose that information. Listen, hold on. Mr. Don, if, if Mr. Swanson is not allowed to answer this question, then we have nothing more to speak about. All right. So, Mr. Swanson, how much money have you ever made with Don? Oh. Or even, not even that. What's the highest amount he's ever paid you for what you're doing? Because I don't want to work with someone that's not standing up to their word. Right, because he Alice has been. he currently has a gun on him. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not in this. This is between you two. He currently has a gun on him. Yes. All right, so he's beside you. Yes. So here's the thing: here, you're scared of Don. I understand. I'm not as scared of anyone. All right, you and be whenever. All right, all right. So whenever I go over to Alice's house, any one of you I see there, just know that you're dead. In case you don't understand, we want to be on the same team here, but if you're not with that, I'm on whatever you're on. Do you all really right, want because... to be on the same team, though? Okay, and let me ask a question before I hang up, because I'm getting really pissed here. Do you want us to work together? Yes or no? Say you're sorry. No, I'm never going to say that. Say you're sorry. Get on your knees and beg me, Bumbleclot. Get on no. your knees and beg me, Andy. All right, I don't do that. Say you're I, sorry. I work for my, I work for myself. Say you're sorry and, what and I will stop playing right. with you. Bro, bro, that doesn't make sense. What are you trying to say? If you're trying to say bumbo clock, bumbo or, clock. yes, that's how you say it. Right, bumbo you. clock. Okay. okay so, so that's fucking around, buddy. You stop because around, you though. That's the problem. All right. You're all, this up for me. all right. Listen, I'm not going to say I'm sorry. I'm just going to give you my word for it. I'm not here to take anything from you. I'm sure you don't have much, just like I don't. And well, we're both, we're, the, well, well, the three of us, we all have one goal here, right? Sure. Okay. And the one goal is to get the funds from Alice, right? Right. 
Okay, and so what is what's the big deal? Um, all right, so Mr. Swanson, all right, Mr. Swanson, are we going to be on the same page here today? Can I? Yes, yes, we'll be on the same page. Hey, so all right, so um, Mr. Take, Don. Go take a break for a little Don? bit. And um, come back in to me 15 minutes. All right. All right, so. Okay. So as I was saying, today I'm going to send her to the bank. They're going to let her know that she was the one that called and canceled the funds because you, you guys called and you acted as her and canceled it, right? Right. Right. So that one's going to be canceled. However, I'm going to let her do a new one. All right. And when that new one is done, you're going to do the calculation. 9,500 divided by 3. Or if you want me We're to divide it by 2. Divide it by and 2. Then you... Joe, Joe is not in on this. All right. So since she believes you're in jail, you know that you could never let your voice be heard again, right? Right. That's why I'm not the one on the phone. This has gone on long enough. I started to slowly get information about this operation that Andy runs. Everything that happens after this point will be focused on the underground PCH lottery scam that has taken so much from our citizens. What is, how is the best way to find people that you trust to carry your money for you? All right, so the best way to get this done, I normally do. I normally use people that have uh, scammed before, you know, because they're going to have your trust. However, you're just going to let them know that you're doing them a favor because once you've scammed them, they won't have any money to pay for the prize. So you're going to let them know that they're going to do some work for you, which they're going to be earning from. So uh, it's not going to be someone like a free slave. You're going to have to give them a little token or else, you know, sometimes they get greedy and they probably run off with the cash. Because, you know, I work by myself. I have Joe Swanson and we have two other people. That They're the guys that went to Alice's house. I need people that have no connection with me to carry the money for me. All right. So uh, I could get some persons. I definitely have some personal meals myself here. But, however, they work with percentages. Because where I'm at, uh, I'm sure you know, uh, I'm from Jamaica. Right. And my my meals bring my money directly to me in U.S. currency. So uh, they're going to come straight through the airport and back to Jamaica. However, I do have some meals that are willing to do uh, transfers or deposits, etc. Whatever you wish. But as I mentioned, they charge percentages. Right. Okay. So let's say, let's say for instance, what I got from Alice was sixty-five thousand. If I had yeah. if I had a mule, how much do you pay them? All right, so my mules normally take thirty uh, percent out of each hundred dollars. So even so, if you were sending one hundred, for example, if you were sending one hundred dollars, thirty dollars would have been taken, and the seventy dollars would be for you. Okay, so here's the plan: you're gonna let Mr. Swanson call her and tell her to call me right away. I really wanted to get this done from the first day, but I didn't receive any call back. However, I'm not, I don't want to make it sound as if I'm really in need of the money, but I got some things going on here where I'm from, and I got a bunch of persons that I'm supposed to pay back. So we need to start doing this, okay? Packages like that. Okay, and what type of iPhones are they? It's the 13 Pro 13. Max. The new iPhone came out, so I, I really don't. I, I want right, to get the, so, the, the package of the new iPhones now. All right, so let me ask you something. The box of iPhones that you have now, are they 13 Pro Maxes? Yes. They're 13 Pros and Pro Maxes. I normally do this when I get a few phones. I normally send them to Jamaica and then I sell them to my purse, my people here in Jamaica. However, 
no one in America, none of my friends that are in the United States, they don't, they wouldn't want to purchase a phone because uh, I'm sure they're on family plan, right? And you didn't pay full price for one. For no, no, I did not pay full price. Um, okay, so, but they're so it's family they're plan. Not on AT and T or Verizon or Sprint or nothing like that. They're unlocked, so they can be opened up. And and I would not have bought these if they were locked to a certain carrier. <laughs> All right, so it's not locked to any carrier. No. All right, so they can be sold, but however, they won't be sold like all of them won't be sold at once. Right. I would be able to get to get some buyers for you, but you'd have to mail that box in. How long have you been doing this? Since I was a child, man. Really? If I told you, if I told you a date or an age, I would be lying. I've been doing this ever since I was born. I don't have another choice. Do you want to hear my real voice? Go ahead, of course. Let me call you right back. Okay, buddy, not a problem. How did you find Alice? I found her. I sent out a mass email. And she was right, one of the... You know, Alice, all right, so what we work from here, we work from, we work from a... Uh, system so it's basically a, a calling system where we upload the leads we upload the leads on the system and the leads uh the system automatically calls the leads crypto you called and then you said that she won what was it like uh five million dollars or something no it was actually uh 2.8 2.8 million but it's She's receiving $5,000 for a lifetime. Right. Because we got to work with what Publishers Clearinghouse is doing right now. So right now they're actually running 5000 weekly and the sweepstakes check. So that's what we got to tell them. How I met Alice, as I said, we bought a bunch of uh, documents. That's some leads that has their address, their phone number, and their name. However, we put them on the system, which the system automatically calls them. I was I was lucky, uh, honestly, I was lucky to get the call back from Alice because the system that we're on has around five of us on it. So anyone calls the system, it's up to the first person that picks up the phone. Right. That's the one that gets the client. Okay. That's kind so of that's how we how, work too. Um, we have three yeah, other so people besides me that actually run the scam. Um, yeah. And whoever answers first is the one that gets it. Yeah, so that's, that's how I met Alice here on the system. She called back, and it all started from there. Right. Right. So how, basically, how I already use gift cards? That's something I've never, I've never been able to do, and I feel like that would be easier for me to get the small amounts. What's that? The gift cards. Oh, and that is the reason because I was very upset when she told me you guys took fifteen hundred. I was like, really? Yeah, I still this have. Lady is. I yeah, still have that fifteen hundred. <laughs> yeah, this lady is rich. I was like, really, fifteen hundred dollars? You guys should have went up a little, but that's okay. We're gonna do this together. However, yeah. she told me that you also uh, got a $500 gift card. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I do understand. Probably you didn't even know that she had that much money. Why you charge her that much? Right. You must know. But uh, I thought you took that money and that's all you wanted and you just ran off. Oh no! I was no, I always when, try to work deeper. Yeah, I was surprised when you when you started bugging on the calls. And to be honest, I was a bit scared at first when I started hearing the voice because that's a, this is the first time something like this has ever happened between me and the client. So I was getting a bit worried until then. I asked one of my members that I've been scamming with, and they told me that it's been happening. That makes me proud because I assume they're talking about this video, which means that guy was on Andy's team. God, I bet they hate me. <laughs>
Alice is my biggest client. She's the one that I've made the most money off of. All right, and Alice is also my biggest client, and I've been trying to make some money off of her, and everything I do, you guys stopped it. You know how it feels when you send someone to do something, and they said it's done, and you're, you're on your end checking the account every day to see something and nothing is showing up. Oh, I, you know I, I understand. Feels. I understand. If Joe did that to me, I'd cut his head off. What's the most you've ever made? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not asking how much you've made over the years. Just what, what is the biggest amount you've ever brought in? All right. At once? Yes. The, bi the biggest amount I've ever brought in was actually $45,000. But, you know, with working with four persons, you don't get much from that because right. it has to be divided. Yeah. Yeah, I, I understand that. But I've made more. I've made more throughout the years, but it doesn't, I don't calculate it. Yeah, but believe me, we've, we've made a lot of money here, and there's still a lot of money out there to make.